maths is critical in the construction and design of a guitar, as well as in the management of the whole process. I'm the manager of production and projects at Maton Guitars. Yeah, I'm responsible for making sure the uh, factory runs well, designing products, improving products, improving processes, uh, implementing technology and thing, and also uh, I'm involved with finding new people to work for us like Dave. Dave was involved last year in a, a guitar making course at Northern Secondary College. Dave came through and did work experience last year with us, and it's been a fantastic outcome. Having people that are able to take up roles immediately and who understand how a guitar is constructed it makes such a difference. If the grain is quarter sawn at one end, and you turn around the other end. A guitar does begin as several trees because you use different species of timber within the one guitar, and it's the relationship of those timbers vibrating together that create the eventual tone of the guitar. The mathematics of a, a guitar are very precise. Everything we do on the floor in the factory is basically spec driven. You've got a string X length. When you strike it, it vibrates at a certain frequency. We want the internal resonance of the acoustic guitar body to be, a, say, a G sharp. And then there's all the geometry of, of neck angle to body, uh, things like thickness of top, sides and back, and, and the way they relate to performance. something like that and square there. We just need a slightly bigger radius than that one. Just in this class we build our guitars and we machine them from blank blocks of timber. In high school my favourite subjects were uh, mathematics. So I did math method and specialist mathematics. Nice little bit of maths is just working out where the fret slots go in a guitar neck so that the thing plays well in tune. The doubling of the frequency is an octave. We also want to divide that octave up into 12 equal parts, so it turns out that the 12th root of two is the magic number. So if we put into the calculator the scale length, 650 millimetres, divide that by 1.0596431, which is the 12th root of two, press the equal sign, that will give you the distance from the bridge to the first fret. When you're designing a body, you know, with basic sort of understanding of geometry and things, you can construct drawings in a way where you can make each line and each curve meet at a tangent. That'll give it the appearance that it's one continuous surface. The maths involved specifically in my job is um, setting neck angles and compensating for humidity. Every guitar is different and they all react differently to humidity. So not every guitar can be set at the same height, not every neck can be set at the same angle. We have to compensate often uh, within 0.25 of a mil. You have to have a firm grasp of the maths to get that close. We don't learn calculus or logarithmic equations just because it sounds cool to know it. You can build something just by feel and by sight, or you can try and do it in a way where you can more consistently reproduce what your design is and that's through mathematics.